guys, it's Bree. Welcome back to my channel. So I am reacting to a video by Inform Overload titled James Charles Responses Shane Dawson Jeffree Star Drama. I was wondering what he was going to say something because ever since all this stuff came out, you know, about Tati being uh, manipulated and Shane and Jeffree basically coming for James, making sure that they take him down or whatever. Uh, James has been real nice and quiet, you know. I think he just moved to a new place. Like he's been doing his thing. He's been staying real calm, and cute, <laughs> and you know now I guess he finally got something to say. So let's see what he what he about to say. All right. So T Tati came out with the video and said that they were trying to um like gang I don't really up against you. Anything in the back. Regarding to the drama. Okay. Okay. I well, we don't mind. we want to talk about that. James Charles was tracked down by an MTV reporter while he was bait. standing in line for a food truck. And he was asked about all the drama between Shane Dawson, Tati, and Jeffree Star. His response, find out right now on IO. What's gravy fam jam? You are watching IO. I'm Charlie. Like, subscribe, follow the potato. Let's get into the news. James Charles has been silent on social media regarding all the drama going on in the beauty community. The Carmageddon saga is essentially sure payback a for last too, year like, when Tati Westbrook, Jeffree Star, and Shane Dawson allegedly drama, try to. tried to ruin James's career. James also admitted in a tearful video that the drama last year almost caused him to take his own life. Tati yeah, posted a video imagine. to her channel recently alleging that Jeffree and Shane convinced her to make a video on James. She said in this video that James wanted to be next to her for the video, but Tati insisted she make the video on her own. She also said that she was worried about posting the bi sister video because James was on the 50th floor of a hotel room and she was worried about his mental health. And Shane reportedly told her to make the video anyway because James, quote, wouldn't do it because he's too narcissistic. So this is more than just a bunch of like adult beauty gurus trying to ruin a teenager's career. It is a bunch of adults not thinking about the consequences of their actions. Imagine what would have happened if James went through with this. All three, Jeffrey, James, and Shane could have been implicated in a murder. Yeah. Scary to think about, but accessories to murder is that is that the term for it if you cause someone to commit suicide by cyberbullying i feel like it's like an accessory to murder so everyone has been anxiously awaiting for james charles's response to the drama he said on twitter on july 3rd that he wouldn't be uploading a video to his channel this week he tweeted morning sisters there won't be a new video today thank you for allowing me to take some time this week the love and support you are sending me has been helping more than you know but other than that james himself has not put out a statement so when an mtv so reporter video saw him quickly. driving he followed James to a food truck lineup and asked him about upcoming projects and he just sort of segued into the drama surrounding Shane, Jeffrey, and Tati. When asked about Shane and whether or not he should be forgiven, James said this. I think it should always be looked at on a case-by-case -case basis uh -huh. and make sure that people are changing actively. That's uh -huh. kind of what I've always believed in. So. Okay. He added that he and Shane have not spoken. But other than that, not. James said that he doesn't want to address anything regarding the drama. He basically just said no comment. He also looked extremely uncomfortable being interviewed about these things, so the reporter moved on to other questions about his career. James went on to talk about his new palette, plans to get into the music industry, planned collabs, and whether He's or not really he trying would to be okay. joining the hype house. And the answer is no. So to summarize, James does not want to be involved, even though the drama does concern him. And I honestly think that this is the right course of action. I think that James doesn't have to give an explanation or his opinion on any of this. He's just trying to live his best life. The best thing to do is stay above the mess in the gutter. In this yeah. day and age, if you do or say the wrong thing, it can be detrimental to your career. And not only that, I have learned more than anything that right now, especially, it is important to protect your energy. You have to focus on the things that make you happy, especially with regards to someone like James Charles, whose mental health depends on it. You got to not get sucked into the cesspool of negativity that is social media. That is good advice for all of you as well. I feel like most of us are just looking for reasons to be mad on the internet. Like one thing yeah, a person says, or even someone's it. tone can completely set you off and ruin your day. Yeah. And that can in turn attract more negativity. It's just a vicious mm cycle and none of us need that right now mm -hmm. as I've said in a previous video if the drama is too much for you guys and it's affecting your mental health I would encourage you to just step away and get centered we'll be here when you get back life is way too short to be angry or offended over things that don't even matter yes. in the grand scheme of things like are you when, next time you get mad about something on the internet I want you to think okay, is this going to rant. affect me <laughs> in three years it's not worth getting mad about then with that being said I'm gonna quickly wrap this one up with some comment features she had to get that off her chest um but yeah so James didn't really say nothing for real. That's what I got from that. Uh, James did not have much to say, which, again, if this really has been taking a toll on him, like he said, and this w all of this was like really like, you know, like 
they um created this whole situation to try and take him down and you know like that's that's a lot and i don't even is james even 20 years old yet like james is super young and he's already dealing with a lot you know when like with all of the success that he's getting on youtube and in the makeup community and the fact that people are people who are older than him are so intimidated by that that they are going out of their way to try and take him down that's scary and not everybody knows how to handle that so i'm not surprised that he's just like you know what i don't even want to talk about it anymore i just hope these people change uh for the better but anyway let me know your guys' thoughts on this video in the comment section down below make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye